Are you looking to take control of your financial future? If so, this is a video definitely not to miss. Today, I wanna to dive into the world of lifetime ISAs. Whether you are in the market for buying your first property or whether you are saving for retirement, a lifetime ISA is a powerful tool to use to work towards your financial goals. But there are so many providers out there. Where do you start? Should you start with a cash lifetime ISA or a stocks and shares lifetime ISA? And if you, even if you decide to go with a cash or a stocks and shares one, which providers should you start with in the first place? We've looked through the marketplace and done the hard work for you so that you don't have to even move a finger. Simply stay tuned and watch this entire video to see the summary of the best providers for your lifetime ISIS. Now, if you're loving the sound of that, we'd really appreciate it if you support our channel by hitting that subscribe button. So that way you know when we create more videos and you get notified when our videos go live. Now, because I'm gonna be mentioning so many providers and various platforms, just wanna say as a standard thing on this channel, this is not financial advice, okay? This is just me educating you as somebody who watches our channel. And of course, take what I've shared today on this video and go out there and do further research for your own personal circumstances. Now, before we get started talking about the providers, I wanna just remind us about what a lifetime ISA really is. For those who are watching this for the first time, a lifetime ISA is an account that you can use for two core purposes. You can use it to save for your first property if you're trying to get onto the property ladder, or you can use it to save for retirement one day. The second thing about the Lifetime ISA is that the Lifetime ISA offers you a 25% bonus. You can put up to 4,000 pounds per year into that account and you get a 25% bonus from the government up to 1,000 pounds to make it a total of 5,000 pounds. Now, in a year with an ISA in the UK, as at the moment, you get 20,000 pounds tax-free allowance. So if you put 4,000 into your Lifetime ISA, that would leave 16,000 that you could put up to that amount into your other ISAs, such as your stocks and shares ISA, your cash ISA, and so on. Now it's worth mentioning that if you are somebody who is in a sort of couple type situation in a relationship, that obviously means that you and your partner get up to 4,000 pounds each that you can put into a lifetime ISA, which then means that as a couple, you get 2,000 pounds as a bonus from the government. That's worth mentioning that a lifetime ISA is not available to everybody, unfortunately. You can only get it up to your 40th birthday. So if you're someone who's watching this and you haven't hit that 40th birthday yet, you want to make sure you pay attention and open that lifetime ISA ASAP and get all that free money that's coming from the government. Now, what about a cash lifetime ISA versus a stocks and shares lifetime ISA? The difference is actually based on what your goals are. Now, if you're somebody who at the moment is investing for short-term purposes, i.e. you're gonna need your money in the next couple of years, typically up to five years, then you really want to be focusing on putting your money into a cash lifetime ISA. You're gonna need that money uh, sooner rather than later, okay? However, if you're thinking long-term and you're thinking to invest for much longer than five years, perhaps for your retirement and that sort of thing, or perhaps even uh, for property purposes, but you're not gonna be needing it in the next five years, then you want to focus on the stocks and shares lifetime ISA because the stocks and shares lifetime ISA exposes you to a bit more risk if you invest in stocks and shares as, as the name implies, but also it gives you the best chance of beating inflation, which as at the time of making this video still remains pretty high. For more on all things lifetime ISAs, we've done a super detailed guide, which I'll link to below and above for you to head over where we've answered more frequently asked questions that give you answers that you can definitely check out. All right, let's dive in now and look at the best providers for your lifetime ISAs. Let's start with the stocks and shares lifetime ISAs. Okay, so the very first provider I've got here is one that I actually use at the moment for my lifetime ISA, and that's Hargreaves Lansdowne. Now, Hargreaves Lansdowne are well known uh, as a provider in the investment space and investment world here in the UK, and they offer a great stocks and shares lifetime ISA. What I really like about it is that it offers you a wide range of things. So you can buy you know, stocks and shares, ETFs, index funds, and that sort of stuff. It's typically ideal for somebody who wants to actually pick their own investments. You want to create your own portfolio. You want to have a wide variety of stuff. Think of Hargreaves Lansdowne a bit like a supermarket where you can just buy, pick and mix 
various bits to suit your personal circumstances. Now their fees start at 0.45% per year for funds with reduced fees for larger portfolios, okay? They also have a really user-friendly platform, which I use on my phone as well as on a desktop, for example. And in terms of minimums, their minimums are 100 pounds for a lump sum or around 25 pounds a month on direct debit. So I'm gonna link below and above a link to, for you to open your lifetime ISA with Hargreaves Lansdowne. That link I mentioned above is an affiliate link, which means that if you use that link, we will get a small commission. We use them in our real life, so we suggest them to people who also want to use them. So feel free to check it out, it doesn't cost you any more. But I'm gonna be mentioning many other providers on this video, so free, feel free to also check all those other ones out and choose the one that works best for your personal circumstances. All right, so our second provider of a stocks and shares lifetime ISA is Nutmeg. Okay, so Nutmeg are a leading provider of a stocks and shares ISA in the UK. They are known for providing a range of ready-made portfolios to choose from based on your own investment goals and risk tolerance, okay? So up on the screen is an example of some of the ready-made portfolios they've got. They've got a fully managed one, a smart alpha, a socially responsible fund, as well as uh, a fixed allocation one. And as you can see on there, the fees for these various funds differ depending on what you're trying to invest in, depending on your goals and your risk tolerance. So some of them are priced at 0.75% up to a hundred thousand pounds, and then it drops about 0.35% beyond that. And some of them, like for example, the fixed allocation fund begins at 0.45%, up to 100k and then it drops to 0.25%. Uh, percent. So it really depends on what you are uh, interested in investing your money in, depending on what sort of goals you are aiming for. They also offer a really simple user-friendly platform and the minimums for investing uh, using Nutmeg is £100. Now the third platform to mention is AJ Bell. AJ Bell is very similar to Hargreaves Lansdowne in that I think of it as a bit of a supermarket in that sense, okay? They are another top provider of stocks and shares, lifetime ISAs in the UK and they offer a wide range of things. Again, similar to Hargreaves, funds, ETFs, stocks and that kind of stuff. So you have a, a wide range of things to choose from. Now, their fees though are at 0.25% per year for funds but then they also charge you on a per trade basis for things like shares and ETFs they charge £1.50 per trade worth mentioning okay they also have a great platform that's really uh, user friendly to use and in terms of minimums uh, their minimums are at £25 a month rather than a lump sum. Up on this screen is a bit more uh, of, a, of a screenshot I took earlier for you to feel free to pause and take a look at some of their lifetime ISA charges for their stocks and shares lifetime ISAs. And the final one I've got to share for the stocks and shares LISA is Moneybox. Now Moneybox is, is a well-known provider, a bit like all the others, they're all really well known, all really popular. Now Moneybox interestingly offers a range of ready-made portfolios so there are three of them. Uh, they're labeled cautious, balanced, and adventurous. Yeah, I'll put these up on the screen for you guys uh, to feel free to pause and take a look at. And as you can see on the screen now, you can see that those three different portfolios are then split into different areas, you know, in terms of an asset allocation basis, depending on what sort of asset you want your money exposed to, depending on your goals and what sort of returns you're trying to achieve. Now, in terms of their fees, Moneybox charges a 0.45% as their platform fee, uh, but they also charge a monthly subscription fee of one pound per month, with the first three months being free. And in addition to that, there is an annual fund provider cost, ranging from 0.12% to around 0.3%. And again, a bit like uh, the others mentioned previously, they have a user-friendly app which allows you to manage your investments easily and efficiently. Now, I've done a neat summary because a lot of this can seem quite overwhelming, so I'll put this up on the screen for us to see a one-pager summarizing these four providers that we think are the best providers to, to look at from a stocks and shares lifetime ISA perspective, okay? Now, Looking at that, it's very clear that there are a number of things you want to consider if you are somebody who wants to choose a stocks and shares lifetime ISA. The very first thing I'd say is to ask yourself, do you want a ready-made portfolio or do you want to build or create your own portfolios? I quite like creating my portfolios because I see it as a way of learning. And not everybody really wants to do that. So you need to make that decision 
for yourself. The second thing to consider is, does the platform I want have the assets I'm looking for? I.e., does it have the funds? Does it have the ETFs? Do I want some single stocks? And does that platform offer that, yeah? Because if, you, if you're looking at some of these platforms that have these ready-made things, they will not have shares and stuff. You might want that at places like Hargreaves or AJ Bell and so on, because they offer you that option if that is what you want. But if you're somebody who just wants a ready-made portfolio, then you might want to look at your money boxes and your nutmegs who have like, uh, you know, fully managed portfolios, if that's what you want as well. The third thing I think about is obviously fees. This is typically what most people think about when they think about what platforms to go for, okay? And we've I've done my best with this video to try to summarize them for you. Again, up on the screen for you to feel free to take a look at. The fourth thing I'd look at is the service, okay? So it's not just about going for the cheapest platform. You need to ask yourself, what's the quality of service I'm going to get? What's the customer service like? What's the platform like? What's the app experience like? And so on. And what's it like when I want to take my money out? This is usually a good test of how good a platform is. Do they make it difficult for you to take your money out? Or is it fairly easy for you to get your money out? You need to consider all those elements as well. And you can see these by reading reviews, by the way. Go and read the reviews for some of these companies because that really gives you quite a decent indication as to what you might expect to be getting in reality. Then the final thing worth mentioning is the obvious one. It's performance. You know, obviously past performance is not a reliable indicator of future performance. Definitely go and have a look at the performance of their funds because it gives you a sense of reassurance that you're having your money invested into something that might be worth your while. Because of course, when you invest in stocks and shares, your money can go up as well as down, which is just the nature of investing in riskier assets. Okay, so now that we've got the stocks and shares lifetime ISAs out of the way, let's now tackle the cash lifetime ISA, okay? Up on the screen is a neat summary of some of the best providers for the cash licenses as at the time of making this video. Now, you can see that this, this, this information is coming from the website Money Facts, okay? You can see there that is a neat summary of four providers that seem to be ranking at the very top. There is Paragon, there's Moneybox, there's Bath, Building Society, uh, as well as Beehive, okay? There's others as well, like Skipton and so on, that you, you might want to check out as well. But these four are the ones that, based on our research, are providing the best balance of returns for your money, as well as quality of service, and that sort of stuff from a cash LISA perspective. Again, keeping with my previous summary for the stocks and shares one, I've done a neat summary for you, which I'll put up on the screen for you to take a look at. And you can see on there, again, it summarizes those four providers, Moneybox, Paragon, Beehive, Bath Building Society, with their interests. The AER stands for your annual equivalent rate, as you can see there, which is the rate of interest that takes into account the compounding effect of interest over a year. And then it shows you what your bonus is and the minimum amount. You can see they're all one pound as a minimum, except for the Bath Building Society society which has a minimum of 500 pounds to actually invest in this cash lisa so there you have it those are our top picks when it comes to uh, choosing a lifetime isa whether you're looking for a cash lisa or a stocks and shares lisa there is literally something out there for you like i said at the start of this video do please take what we've shared and then take it away and do a bit more research in order to make the best decision for your own personal circumstances. I hope you found this video really useful. If you've got any questions relating to lifetime ISIS, if I've not covered any of it, please jump in the comments and I'll be right there straight after this video, making sure that I'm responding to your questions as they arrive, okay? Don't forget to subscribe as a way of supporting the channel as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And as always, in all things, be thankful and seek joy. Take care and bye for now.